Hey YouTubers, JNB here with another Sunday Fun Day live stream. Ready to do some coin roll hunting and give some stuff away. Stacking Stobuck, welcome. I love seeing that. Hello, JB family. That's that's just that's just so awesome. Bill Betts was second. Oh my my. <laughs> so Bill Butts was second. Coin hunting couple, Smurf Girl, Pammy J, Paul Hill, Tiny, Ida, Greg, Trucking for Silver, Mark Cardwell, Christopher W, Nathaniel, Forkika, Macro, King and Queen Stacking, Sissy, Pammy J, Bill McCoy, Darren Mabry, Edwina, Heather, Donna Mack, Justice, Chris Hill, Barbara Rays, Eddie Trees, Dustin Brennan, John Scott, Lee Willis, Santiago, Robert Reed, David Wallowen, Maribel Figueroa, Joni Duffy, Trinity the X, Daniel McGriff, Josh Rolf, Pammy J, Jeff France, David Wing, Sam Hanley, Worcester, Michael W, Jackie D, Jason Patton, Catherine Lee, John Scott, Vern LaPointe, KCC, ICM, S. Robbins, Kim Jones, Jason Mirabella, Ida, Rhonda, uh, Coin Hunting Couple, I'm not sure if I said that, Robert Fitz, Real Ruler, Tony Anero, Tom Sheldon, Tom V, Greg McCoy, Ron Richard. I think I got caught up. <laughs> welcome, everybody. Michael Hargis, welcome. Glad to see all of you. It's another wonderful day in the JB Coins family. JC likes Pam. Welcome, Paul Hill. Welcome, Greg Snedeker. Welcome. I think I already said hi to you guys. <laughs> Bonnie McKinley, welcome. P. Nelson, welcome. Donna Mack, hi. Yep, 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 yep. I'm doubling up here. We got 67 watching already, 33 thumbs up already. We are tracking. Um, S. Robbins, I'm so happy we are all here together. I agree. That is, that is, you know, uh, the, the very first one was Hi, JB Family. And it was like, that is so cool. <laughs> so welcome all. Iron welcome. So hopefully everybody got a good night's sleep. Ronnie Williams, welcome. Tiny, welcome. Dominic D'Angelo, welcome. You just found the legendary 64 SMS half dollar? That's awesome, man. That's very cool. Curtis Coin Hunter. Glenn McBride, uh, two boxes tonight. Um... Heather, go to PayPal, jbcoinsinc at gmail.com. Put in the amount. It's $5 per roll. And make sure you put in the message box, um, your name, and what the money's for. Because some folks are, and Real Ruler's jumping on it too. Some folks are, are ordering uh, T-shirts, coffee mugs, all that kind of stuff, uh, air and variety lists off the website. So, um and yes, the coffee mugs are there on the website. And below each video. Um, Cali Coin Searcher, welcome. Mitchell Montoya, welcome. 
Uh, Sissy, she will let us know in a second if there's any rolls left. Muhammad, welcome. Amber, welcome. Ramon Juan, welcome. Keith Mead, welcome. Wishful thinking, welcome. Storm, welcome. Lee Bivens, welcome. Crystal Warali, welcome. All right, as usual, Try and get a couple things out of the way here. Uh, believe it or not, since last night's live stream, we are now less than 500 away from 75,000 subscribers. And the thank you giveaway of these beautiful eight, uh, Morgan New Orleans Mint 1884 and 1885 from the McLaren Collection MS63, one to each winner. There'll be two winners. So when it hits 75,000, the clock will stop on that giveaway and we will pull, a, pull the two winners on a video um, and post that up. The, um, the other thing is um, we have, you can see, we've got a ton of gifts on the table here. We've got Donna Mac and John L. We've got Pammy J. We got Santiago and we got Barbara Reyes. Now we shot a video of the unboxing from Santiago and Barbara. And what you see here from them is just a small portion of what was in their packages. Uh, I think it took close to 30 minutes to shoot the video. That's how much stuff was, was in there. Um, Obviously, cleaning it up, editing it down, removing meat, unwrapping like three, four layers because they did a great job packaging this stuff. Uh, you guys don't want to sit there while I'm pulling out all these layers. But Sweetie got it ready, got ready to upload it, and our internet was acting up at the time. So we were a little concerned about tonight. It looks like the internet's working okay. Streaming is good. Obviously, our camera is not part of the internet, so if the internet goes down again, uh, we're supposed to have storms tonight. If the internet goes down again, we don't have a problem because we got the camera uh, that we can go ahead and continue the stream. At the end of the stream, we are going to be giving away the pennies, the 10 pennies from the video that we did about uh, buying a roll of unsearched pennies. And so there's the 58 BU, it's in the corner here. I'll try and slide it where it'll show up on camera maybe. Um, there's a 58 BU in the corner. There's a steel penny above that. And there's an Indian penny in the upper left hand corner. And all these other dates are early dates, teens and early 20s. And they're all in great shape. And those are gonna go to a winner from that video. Um, and then, like I said, we've got all this stuff too. <laughs> so, uh, and as I said last night, this next week, we're gonna have lots of special announcements coming out. So make sure you have your settings uh, to be notified when we, go, when we go live without warning, for example. Um, let's see, I know I missed some folks while I was saying that. Wild Bill, welcome. Trying to backtrack here. Linda, welcome. Kenny Springer, welcome. Ryan Fisher, welcome. Boo, welcome. The the video did not load, Sharon. I'm just seeing your message. Um, so after the live stream, she's going to try and reload the video. Uh, so it'll be available for you guys to check out all the cool stuff because it's just 
it's it's a yeah it's a lot it's a fairly long video because of how much is there and um and what's there um you know we needed to explain what it was and and it was just amazing stuff so um that will be available hopefully later on tonight after the live stream's over um ryan welcome christopher innovation welcome let's see ty welcome um John L. Welcome, Jason Patton. Welcome, Bonnie. Welcome, Wild Bear. Welcome. I think I'm caught up. Yes, sweetie. Um, if you guys are buying rolls or sending money on PayPal on JB Coins, uh, please make sure uh, and indicate what your what the money's for. Um, sweetie's got a couple that have. Um, she's got a bunch, she says, uh, not a couple, that um, she has money and the person it's from, but she doesn't have uh, what it's for, whether it's for her uh, rolls or air lists or whatever. So, and then also whether or not you want your PayPal name to be what we announce when we do your coin, coin rolls. Uh, you, you know, if you've got a screen name you, you, that you use that's different, let us know because we don't want to disclose your personal information that's on PayPal. So, yeah. So anybody that needs to make a correction or add information, uh, just send be an email real quick at jbcoinsinc at gmail.com and you guys can work it out um, and get that all squared away. Um, so, uh, Bonnie... Welcome. The, the giveaway coins in front of the sign are the 10 pennies from the uh, wheat penny roll that we did uh, live in a video. And we, in, during that video, we said we were going to give away 10 of the pennies from that roll. So that's what these are here is from the 58 BU to the Indian and a whole bunch of early teens and a steel penny. Uh, those will be given away at the end of the night. Tonight's only two boxes, so we won't be up to the wee hours like last night. Um, but this will be the last giveaway, and that will be a different giveaway. If you enter for all the giveaways that are on the table, that's one entry. That's for tonight's live stream. Whenever we do a video uh, and we do a giveaway and we do it live for you folks instead of doing it on a video, um, it still follows the video rules that you don't have to be present to win. All you have to do is meet the criteria of that video, what you have to do to qualify to, uh, to get those. Um, so, uh, like I say, we're less than 500 away from giving the Morgans away when we hit 75,000, which is just amazing. Uh, I remember when we used to get excited over 100, 200, 300. It's, it just seems like yesterday. So a lot of hard work, especially my sweetie, and, and a lot of you folks becoming family over that period of time. So just lots and lots of fun. It's a very exciting time right now. Okay. Um, we do have rolls available in box number two, she says. She just doesn't know how many exactly because of some of the folks that did not put down what their money was for. So uh, she'll get that squared away once she gets messages. Um, John Hill, welcome. Jimmy the Greek, welcome. Earl Spinelli, welcome. Yeah, there's still time to go to the Wheat Penny video uh, about oh, about buying a Wheat Penny roll off the internet. Oh, this is about the eighty, the fifty-eight. Oh, I'm sorry. This is about the fifty-eight BU roll that we went through. I apologize, but you still have time to enter in in that one, um, right up until we do the drawing. Um, and like I say, you don't have to be here to win. You just have to conform to uh, whatever the video says you need to do, okay, to, to be a valid entry. 
Um, so, and for you new folks, I'm Jay. My wife is B. I call her sweetie, honey, things like that. You guys don't get to do that because you're not married to her. But B or Ms. B or Mrs. B is fine. And, um, you know, J and B is both of us, obviously. So that's where JB Coins came from. It's not our names. It's just our initials. And uh, so welcome to the family. If you like it, please subscribe and stay and hang around. We have a great time when we do these. Master Guns, welcome. Dave Smith, welcome. Hundred and fifteen watching, eighty-five thumbs up. Let's get this party started here. What do you say? Miss Ida is up first. So Ida, please tell me how many down, how many over. John Phillips is asking if we can check and see if we got his email. Cedalyn, welcome. She's checking now, John. Two and one. So two down, one over. Is that what you want, Ida? Two down, one over. There you go. Okay, thank you. And she has five rolls. Good luck, Ida. Check the bottoms, black marked roll right off the get-go. We mark, for you new folks, we mark four rolls in each box. Sometimes we sneak an extra to one or two in there, but usually it's four rolls, three black ones, which represents a 40% Kennedy silver coin, or a green one, which represents a 90%, and if it's on the roll, it's a Walker or a Benji. If it's out of the silver bag, it's a Kennedy. So, for having that black ring, Ida gets a beautiful 67, 40 percenter to get us started. Oops. All right. Tiny, Ms. Z says, Ida's got to get some big colored coins. <laughs> That's funny. That's cute. Miss Z, you're a sweetie. All right, and I'm going to explain something and apologize in advance. I haven't even said anything to sweetie yet. Um, my back is bothering me today, so I'm wearing my back brace, and that does affect, for those of you that have bad backs, and I know there's a bunch of you, um, when you're wearing the back brace, it's kind of like wearing a girdle or a corset. It constricts you, so if you hear me breathing kind of funny or sounding kind of tired, it's that's what it is. It's it's I'm wearing this thing cinched around my my middle, so um, apologize in advance. She says, thank you, Uncle Jay. You're welcome, Z. <laughs> See, this is, seriously, this is like a family. Between, between you know, Z and Cade and, and, you know, little one and... Yeah, that's true. I would have to list like hundreds of people. So it's it's just... Yeah, that's true. You all know who you are. <laughs> I 
Right, it says, this is so cool, neater than socks on a rooster. <laughs> oh, man, it's too funny. Santiago, I'm here listening. I'm just treating my injury at this time. Yeah, Santiago's hurt, too. You got to get better, dude. Wow, look at this roll. Somebody marked up the edges, like we've been telling you, where they, they're starting to mark the edges instead of the face of the coin, which is probably better. But there's like four of them in this roll. It's, and we are oversold already. So um, let's see what we got in here. Uh, yeah, Michael, I think they would probably view that as being self-serving. So, we got enough folks here that, that are more than willing to help out, and Real Ruler will help out. Roadrunners here, welcome. Yolanda, welcome. A rainbow we didn't want that to be black well nothing in the rolls got one from the marked roll and we've got three poles coming southern heights welcome southern heights records michigan mud digger welcome Good luck, Ida. Three pulls. Blank. Two left. And if I miss anybody when I'm doing this, when I'm doing the coins, I apologize, but obviously I'm focused on this and not on the screen. Second pull for Ida. Blank. Not cool. Okay. Eyes closed. Left-handed. Hanging out of the bag so it doesn't walk away. 90 percenter. See, Ida? It worked. Thank you. 64 Kennedy, 90 percenter to go with the 67 for the marked roll. So Ida wound up with two beautiful coins. Thank you very much, Ida. Here you go, my love. And we have 108, so I guess we have a giveaway, right? Are you ready, or you want me to do some more? Okay. Move the tray out of the way. So the first giveaway is what? Um, 
Oh. Oh, the 57? Mm -hmm. uh, does it matter which one? doesn't matter. Okay. Santiago sent some gorgeous coins, which you'll see in the video, but here's one of them. 57D with the B error. And look at how beautiful that thing is. So th thank you, Santiago. This will be the first giveaway tonight. Oh, no. I'm sorry. I'm not ready. Oh, she's sorry. She's not ready. <laughs> okay. Jackie D, welcome. David DeTavio, welcome. All right. So she says that she's not ready. I'm only setting this back. It's still going to be the giveaway. We're going to go ahead and do a Cali Coin Searcher real quick. And he has five rolls. Good luck. No marked rolls except for the one that we didn't do. <laughs> so dive in here and see if we can't find some silver, some Balboas, some proofs. We found two Olympic coins last night, very rare ones. Couldn't believe we found the first one, had never seen one, you know, outside of the set. And, uh, and then we found a second one in the same box. And they were both as proof, um, you know, perfect condition. So you just never know, man. 2006 P Nipsey, a real pretty one. Tiny, the last one was only one roll away from yours. Horseshoes and hand grenades, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's... That's like when Ida gets done and, and then the very next person gets, you know, a rainbow or something. <laughs> Pammy J is painting with her earbuds in, so she's asking if um, we get to her, we call her out to give her a few uh, moments to get out of the paint. So that's not a problem. Yeah, we got two rolls left here. We got to get some good stuff here.
Yeah, we'll be doing the uh, giveaway for 100 likes um, here in a second. Sweetie wasn't ready, so she asked me to go ahead and do Callie's. So I'll take care of these, and then we'll, we should be ready. Just that one Nipsey, and we got pulls. So we got three pulls. The MP, welcome, Kelly. Good luck. Blank. Okay, we're going back to the left handed eyes closed. <laughs> Forty percenter. Sixty seven. One more. Forty percenter. Eyes were closed and I did it left-handed. That might be the new technique from now on. <laughs> so, 69D to go with the 67, two 40 percenters, and a Nifsi for Cali. Thank you very much. Congratulations. What, sweetie? That was Kelly. Yeah, Kelly Coin Searcher. Ruby Gonzalez. Yes, we do save copper pennies. Okay, 57D with the B error from Santiago. 122 entries. Good luck, everybody. Kenny Springer. Where are you at, Kenny? I know I said hi to you. D Reese, how do you store them? Um, believe it or not. Oop, got a rubber band stuck to that. Empty jars uh, from raisinets, salted almonds, that kind of thing. Um, there are stacks of those filled with the copper pennies. So where is Kenny at? Kelly, welcome. Becky, welcome. I know I said hi to Kenny Springer. Or am I confusing that with last night? Could be last night. Kenny Springer, 30 seconds left. This Robin's Nest, welcome. Ordered a box of halves for my daughter, and I looked through, and they're all 2018 Ds. Worth keeping, or should I turn any or all back? Uh, you might want to check eBay and see what those are going for. People are paying a premium for them, and you might be able to make a couple of bucks. Okay, next. All right, next. John L., John Allen in the house yet? MD Hanif, welcome. 
Kathy Bernstein, welcome. There he is. Yep. No, I said it. I thought I said hi to him. Yeah. So congratulations, John. There you go. And thank you, Santiago. And we're already up to 125 on the thumbs up meter. We actually hit 300 last night and gave away the Brown Ike finally and got to 328 or something like that. So people were trying to scramble to get to 350. Um, but anyway, Mark Cardwell's up next. He has eight rolls, four, five, six, seven, eight. No markings, no markings. Okay, good luck, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know Vicky scored huge yesterday. So Yeah, she got into one of the better boxes last night. Last night they were hot and cold. We'll see what we got tonight. So far this top layer not so sure about yet. And we've had a few of those boxes where, you know, one layer is good and one layer is a real stinker. There's a 2006 P. Nifsey. Um, yeah, now it's fine, sweetie. That'd be great. Right, it says, well, if we don't get a rainbow in the first roll, we throw out the box and get another one. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ronnie. Yeah, somebody marked the heck out of a lot of these coins in this box. That could be part of the problem. I think that's the first time I've seen that many markings in a box from this bank, so. Kelly, um, I think we figured out last night about 51 years I've been a collector, and B has been a collector less time than that, because she's younger than me. But, um, there were there were a few years here and there where I really wasn't active, and she still was. So probably um, overall about the same or possibly more on her part than me. Um, she is, between the two of us, she's definitely the expert on certain types of coins uh, and um, like uh, currency. Uh, over my knowledge. Coin collection, welcome. No, there's nothing special about the coins uh, other than they're not silver. 
So they're basically marking their territory that they've searched the rolls. And if they see those marks, they just assume that everything else in the roll must be from what they've sorted. So they just toss the roll um, and don't bother searching it. So it's it's just it's the same as as the people that that mark them on the face they just have started marking them on the edge and uh i've said a few times probably the edge is is to me a preference because on the face they're ruining the coin on the edge you, you can clean that a little bit uh depending on what they use to mark it with and uh possibly not deface the coin or devalue the coin um prefer they don't mark the coins at all, obviously, but and if you'll excuse me, Mark, I just got a fresh cup of coffee. <laughs> oh man, that tastes good. Thank you for indulging me. Over here, that's a cool. That's a cool name. We are doing half dollars, and welcome to JB Coins, the channel and the family. Sweetie, you got a message from Heather Campbell wanting to know whether you got uh, her in for two rolls. She said she submitted and it's her first time trying, so she wasn't sure. Yeah. Um, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Wishful thinking, just found a Spike Head 2014 Lincoln Shield. Cool. B do you get all of your coins at one dealer or go to multiples? We go everywhere. <laughs> yeah, the dealers, the dealers are the last place we go. Um, yeah, we've got a couple friends that, that, that are dealers, but that's as sweetie says that's different. Um, One coin out of those rolls, one Nipsey, and we have four pulls. Um, Master Guns, I know somebody else asked that question. Let's take a look. Ah, it's the filled B. It's uh, if the if the little die chip winds up between the B and the E, and it lands in between, they call that a B I E error. In this case, it landed in the lower uh, hole of the B, so it's a B error. Hmm. One what? A well-known error. Gotcha. Sorry. All right. So back to Mark's pulls. Got four pulls for Mark.
Left-handed, eyes closed. Blank. Didn't work that time. Forty percent. Sixty-seven. Nice and shiny. Two more. Another blank. That was a left-hander. One more. Blank. Shoot. Ontario, welcome. John, I only got you one silver and one Nipsey. Or, excuse me, Mark. Sorry. Brain dead. Sorry about that. <laughs> I got one slurp in it. That's, you know, I'll, t I'll take another slurp real quick. Thank you, Mark, so much. <laughs> B says, thank you, Mark, so much, and you'll be working in the kitchen all week. <laughs> and he just said, it's a new dish week. <laughs> Sweetie's still laughing back there. <laughs> Santiago, yeah, we found them. Um, sweetie, you didn't put out the uh, the penny rolls tonight yet, right? For Santi from Sa Santiago. No, that's not going to be anything tonight. We have to yeah. watch the TV. Yeah. Right. Okay, so yeah, that that roll will be next week, Santiago. We got a whole bunch of stuff that was in the unboxing with your stuff and uh, also Barbara's. But we didn't get the video loaded because of the internet. Field guy, welcome. All right, next up, Deanne. Deanne has six rolls. Two, four, six. No marked rolls. First timer. Well, we'd wish you luck anyway, but being a first timer, hope you get some good ones. Double luck, my sweetie says. Sweetie, can you crank a couple of more notches on that AC? Huh? Okay. Linda's a descendant of Robin Hood. That's cool. We got some shiny ones in this roll. Let's see what we got. Two thousand five P Nifsey and IFC.
Louise, that's a very cool story. That's neat. Yeah, Bonnie, it's okay. But thanks for asking first. DMC Coins, welcome. Chad Silver, welcome. Last roll for Deanne. And so far, we got one Nipsey. We got to find something good. Now you have pulls coming too. Uh, three of them. So... set up tonight than last night. Alcora is here. Welcome Alcora. Three pulls for the end. That's too good. Sweetie, does Kelly Coin 40 percenter? Does Kelly Coin still need to give you his address or every week. Uh, every week. Every week. Once once a weekend, basically. Um, so, Cali Coin, or Cali Coin, Deanne, <laughs> uh, 67, 40%er. Pull number two. Last pull. Blank. Shoot. Yep. 67, 40 percenter, and the 2005 P Nifsey are what you get, Deanne. Thank you very much. Sorry it wasn't more. Um, next time. Yeah, the can the the 40 percent candy is beautiful. Uh, iron. Uh, basically, we usually do PCGS for the like high-grade coins where you think it might grade out um, and, and it's not an error coin. If it's an error variety coin, we tend towards NGC. Uh, they actually have on their website photos of uh, varieties that they have graded. So they're getting, they're getting more savvy over there about that. PCGS is working on it, but they haven't quite got there yet. That's kind of how we do it. Everybody's different. Spanish Dragon, welcome. Let's see. Tony 
Yaniro is up next, and Tony's got 12 rolls. Sip of coffee before I dive into the basement here. Here we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. We got a black one and a green one. Wow. Tony did good. We don't even need to open any rolls, Tony. Uh, Tony got a green one, which is a 90 percenter, and a black one, which is a 40 percenter. So when it's on a roll, it's either a Benji or a Walker. In this case, it's a 52D Benji, 90% silver. And a 40% 67 Kennedy. So that's before we even open a roll. <laughs> Thank you, Tony. Oop, good call. Time to switch the battery. There we go. Thanks, Real Ruler. I happened to catch that <laughs> out of the corner of my eye when you posted that. Thank you very much. Yep, that was just the freeze because the battery got too low on the phone. That's that new technique that Apple has us doing until we uh, come up with a better alternative. Which, were we going to announce that tonight, sweetie? The replacement for this camera? Um... Oh. Okay, I'm confused, but that's okay. Not the first time. Lion, welcome.
Muhammad, unfortunately, don't have the ability to read what you're writing. Um, I don't know if anybody here can read that and translate for us. That's true, yeah. Two thousand two D Nifsi first year. Starlin Martinez, welcome. Two thousand three P Nifsi. Somebody asked if we are into the VAM coins. This group, we're basically into everything: uh, coins, currency. Um, probably with the exception of Bitcoin, basically, but traditional coins. Currency, um, the history, the beauty, the art, um, U.S. coins, foreign coins, commemorative coins, new coins, old coins. <laughs> We're in all that stuff. Oh, 2007 D NFC with the circle of death, but it is yours per the rules because it's a NFC. found a Colombian half. Um, I don't think coin were hunting. BMP, uh, sweetie, you want to cover that on helping him explain to him how to get currency graded, or you just want me to tell him? Well, it's basically it's PCGS. Um, not only PCGS, but PCGS has a currency uh, grading service as well. And um, so, yeah, you can submit your own to them if you care to do that. There, there's other companies that do it. That's the one I'm familiar with. 
Sweetie may know of others, but and folks on the channel that are into currency may also know of others as well. Tony, it ain't looking good here, man, other than the Nipsies you got. But we got one last roll. You never know. We found some cool stuff in the last rolls of boxes. So. Jason Patton, what is a VAM coin? A VAM is a designation given to a certain class of coins. Uh, usually Morgans. There's some other coins involved. Um, I am not a VAM expert. It's, it's, for me, things like VAM and Top Pop, which um, some folks are very interested in. Um, I'm not as interested in as the analytic aspect of how many are there, you know, that kind of thing. Uh, how many in that grade, 2006? Nifsey, but do we have that in our def on our definition page, baby? What a VAM is? On our website? Yeah. No. Okay. Okay. We will have a giveaway after the polls for Tony. Um, you probably can go to any of the grading companies and go to their website, type in VAM in the search section, and it should probably pull up information and give you the breakdown of, of what it is. Um, there's so many different, um, even from co grading company to grading company, they call things different things, but they're the same thing, you know? Um, so there's, there's so many reference guides and so many grading agencies and so many different channels and magazines and books. And they all have their own little thing, you know. Um, Charles, there you go. There's a VAM book out like the Wexler book on errors. Yeah, I think that, one's, I think that one just came out not too long ago about the Morgan VAMs, right? That's, that's what was popping in my head when I was thinking about that the Morgans um, are what I usually hear the VAMs referred to. So, Tony, we got six poles, right? Yucky ducky. Good luck, Tony. We get done, we go get a little cappuccino, maybe some cannoli, you know, down at the deli, we'll be good. 40 percenter. <laughs> 67, 40 percenter. You already got one of those, so we, we will swap that one out for a 68D 40 percenter. How's that? That way, try and give you different ones. All right, so second poll. Rick. There you go. That's that's the book. Yep. Second poll for Tony. Can you tell I grew up in a city with Italians in the family, Tony? <laughs> Blank on the second one. I'm not Italian though. But I could be. Ah, third one's a blank. Not good. So we got three poles left. How am I going to improve this? Uh... 
40 percenter. There we go. That was different, a little different, shaky, shaky. So 69D. And we got two pulls left. <laughs> Dynamax. Yeah. Let's just say that I had Donamac, just let's, let's just say I had cousins by marriage that if I said sauce, spaghetti sauce instead of gravy, I was gonna get the back of the spoon, not the gravy. <laughs> so one pull left to, for Tony. Come on, let's get another good one. Dennis Pachinski, welcome. Ah, blank. Sorry, Tony. We tried. We tried really hard. But you got three 40 percenters, all beauties, and you got four nice Nifsies, except for the, I think you got one with the circle of death on it, if I remember right. Yeah, the last one here. So you got three nice Nifsies and one not so good, but. Oh, forgot about the Benji. Huh. How did I do that? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Giveaway time. I think I already gave away brain cells. What are we giving away next, sweetie? Those, okay. I will be glad to sip my coffee and get out of your way. <laughs> These uh, go together. These are from Pammy J. 1971 half pence Canadian, which is really cool. And a 1974 one pence Canadian. So those go as a set. Thank you, Pammy J. We had 121 at the last drawing. Got 127 entries now. Good luck, everybody. Cali Coin Searcher, please include me in the Sunday Fun Day giveaway. Looking forward to another amazing night. Thank you, J and B. Thank you, Cali Coin Searcher. Dale. Technically, they are British, you know, part of the British Empire, but they are Canadian coins. I believe, now that I think about it, New Penny. Sorry. Um, Cali Coin. Cali Coin's here. There you go. Congrats. Yeah, they are British. So, sorry, Pammy. Uh, yeah, they're right. Those, those are uh, British, not Canadian. It's, it's confusing because the Queen's on all the coins, and the coins are so similar, but those are actually British. And beautiful, yes. Not as beautiful as my lovely bride, of course. Nothing is that beautiful. Not even a 1937 Talbot Lego. Okay. Next. Next, Joshua Rolf. And I'd be interested if anybody here knows what a 1937 Talbot Lego is without using the internet. <laughs> Joshua has four rolls. Joshua's wanting a Balboa. There you go. 
Don't you love those things? Those things are so cool. Good luck. Yeah, I've got a ton, I mean, like rolls of the British one pence uh, coins. And that's why when I looked at it, it was like, that looks just like the British one. And it didn't even click. But either way, it's a sweet gift from Pammy. Beautiful shape. And to have the half, which is a lot harder to find. Um, we may have one in our album. I'm not sure. I know I've got a lot of the one pence. Or actually, we have a lot of the one pence. Is that better, sweetie? No, coin collection, we have 74,500 and change when we came on the air tonight. So that's why I say sometime this week we will hit in the next few days. Because um, last night we added about two, 300 subscribers um, during the day, during this 24-hour period. Um, we added a ton during the live stream, which thank you all very much. That was, that was awesome. Um, but with less than 500 to go, yeah, I think at that rate, we're talking a couple of days before it hits 75. And then we'll stop the clock and we will do the drawing uh, of the two winners using the software, the third party software, to pick two winners of those, one each of those. Um, Morgan's from New Orleans. Well, it's third party meaning it's not ours and it's not YouTube, so. Ah, okay, that's right, they don't. Yeah, sorry. It's, um, yeah. Didn't get anything out of that for Joshua. Not even a Nifsy. Um, we got two poles. Um, the drawing for the Morgans or the giveaway for the, the Morgans is the thank you video for 75,000 subscribers. It actually has a picture of the Morgans in the thumbnail. And if you go in there, it tells you what you need to do to enter because you need to follow the instructions that are in there. It's free, but you have to do what it says, okay? Um, we had a couple at the end of the night last night with the giveaway like this one where the people didn't follow the instructions. They just said hi or whatever, and it was like, oh, man, you know, you hate to pull somebody's name and then say sorry, but you didn't do what you were supposed to do. Um, so, um, so yeah, just check out what it says that you need to do in order to qualify for those and you'll be good to go. Um, but because it's down to less than 500, I wouldn't hesitate, you know, more than a day or two because, um, I think probably today's Sunday, Tuesday or Wednesday at the latest, we're probably going to hit that mark. Um, which is going to be very cool. Um, oh, I know what I was doing different. I was doing this. I was doing it the way I used to do it a long time ago. And that seemed like it was doing better. So I'm going to try it again. Because Joshua only has two poles. 
ah, blank. Nope, that one didn't work. So let's try the other way. One pull left, Joshua. I'm trying, man. 40%. There we go. At least we got one. 40%, 67. Very shiny. Congratulations, man. As always, we always wish, no matter how much we give out, even when we give out like 100, 200 in one night, we, we always wish we were giving out more. Um, and thank you very much. That's why nights like last night was so much fun because we started off just going nuts, giving away all that stuff for kids from Donna Mac and John L. And then went into the giveaways right away and then got into the rolls. And it was like, and then, gosh, I don't know. How many giveaways do you think we did last night all together? I don't know. 30? It was probably close to 30 by the time you count. I don't know. Maybe more. Maybe more, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, that's true. We'll see when they come back from post office. Um, yeah, believe it or not, we sent Sweetie works really hard between now and Tuesday morning to get everything from the weekend packaged up to take to the post office, and and <laughs> she doesn't want to talk about it. She's not. <laughs> I don't blame you. Okay, so back to the coin roll hunting. Paul Hill is up next. Paul Hill has five, and we just happen to have a row right here of five. Sorry, honey. Does um, Real Ruler have somebody to hunt? That's somebody made it sound like there might be, but I have to get back into these rolls. So if there is, hopefully he catches that. Fidel, welcome. Two thousand eight D Nessie, nice one. Sweetie, what's up? Rick, welcome. Hi, who? Hi, Stephen.
last roll for Paul. And then we will have three poles. Somebody didn't like JFK on that coin. <laughs> you guys can see that. They hacked that thing up. Looks like with a screwdriver or something. <laughs> we got one Nifsy out of those. So we got to get something out of these poles. I see John Hill, 40 percenter, that's a good first one, 66, 40 percenter, two more, blank. One more. Ah, another blank. I just can't get a stream, string going tonight, it looks like. Um, all right, so 40 percenter, 66, and a really nice 2008 Nifsey. Thank you very much. As always, wish it could be more. Thank you very much for being here. And that was Paul Hill. So now, you're welcome, Paul. Thank you. Uh, now, KCC. The last five rolls in this box. And as my sweetie said last night with one of the boxes last night, that's the good thing is this box is done. <laughs> right, baby? And a black roll, so a 40 percenter. There we go, 69D, nice and shiny. Good luck, KC, or KCC. Santa Fe Railway, welcome. Thick shiny one on the end. Nope, 72.
box number two's order. Sweetie just posted that up. Of course, we have another giveaway before we dive into that one. For this box being over, once I wash my hands and bring the new box in. But I got to do KCC's polls yet, too. And then I'll go wash my hands and grab the new box. Paul Hill, uh, once a weekend, basically. If you won something last night, you should be good to go if you already sent it to us. Or a rebound shot there. Um, if you haven't sent it to us in the last a uh, couple of days, then yeah, you got to set it again because we don't we don't keep them. It's um, there's there's people that keep them and use them for marketing purposes, and we don't we don't really like doing that. We don't like invading our family's privacy, so we don't keep them. Plus 75,000 of them would be a lot to keep. <laughs> okay, three pulls. We got one on the table. We got to get three more. Forty percenter. Okay. Sweetie, I got this and that. Um, is that okay? Yes. All right. 65, 40 percenter to go with the 69D. Two more pulls. Blank on the second one. Oh, blank on the third one. Sorry, man. So we have a 65 and a 69D. KC. Thank you very much. Again, as always, we, we always want it to be more. So now it's time for me to take the mic off for a second, go wash my hands, grab the next box, and then we will do the giveaway for the end of that box.
Sorry about that. Um, let's see. All right. So, what's the next giveaway, sweetie? Which one? Oh, the set? Yeah. Okay. And I moved your screen, sorry, to reach it. So, the next giveaway for the end of the first box is something Santiago sent us that's in that video that we'll upload after this live stream. And this is, this is amazing. Um, we missed them when they came out. We actually uh, are waiting for ours to come in. Um, 2019 United States Mint Proof, uh, Silver Proof set of America the Beautiful Quarters. And these... Starting 2019, any silver coins that are made by the Mint, including these, are now not 90% silver. They're 0.999, just like an American Eagle or a bullion coin. So they're bullion grade quarters now. And, of course, with the better grade of silver, it's going to punch up the image. They're going to look even more amazing than they have in the past. So thank you to Santiago for this very special uh, item. First of its kind, really. Um, so we have 130 entrants now. Good luck to everybody. Sharon W., please enter me on Sunday's giveaway. Great night again. I just finished watching. I fell asleep. <laughs> So Sharon should be here. Donovan, welcome. Sharon, I'm here. There you go. You're going to love these. These these are so cool. And yeah, thank you very much, Santiago. And again, when we get done with the live stream and we post that video of the unboxing from Santiago and... Uh, from Barbara, you guys, it's, it's seriously, it's, it's 20, 30 minute video, but it's just amazing. I need to, I, I think I even said when we were filming it, I need a bigger table because <laughs> there was stuff everywhere. Um, it's, uh, it's just, it's just, it's, I just get, um, all excited when I think about the stuff that they sent us, um, that that all of you guys have been sending us. It's just it's just amazing. So anyway, box number two. We got to get started. Smurf girl gets to call it out. How many down and how many over? We, that that basically you know like three down, three over would get you that coin. Four down, four over would get you that coin. That kind of thing. Two down, three over. The girls got it already. You're, you're, you're a veteran now. One, two, one, two, three. So that's your first coin, your, your first roll. And she has 10 rolls. Holy moly. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. New box. New shooter, green roll. <laughs> cool. Let's see what the other four are. Okay, the other four are not marked. She got a green mark roll, which means ba ba ba, fifty-three D Benji, ninety percenter. Need to move my tray over just a hair so I have room. There we go. 
Yeah, off to a real good start, man. Good luck, Smurf girl. If I remember right, you did really well last time. Hopefully you have the same kind of luck and get this box off to a good start. I gotta move, that's what I gotta do is I gotta move the power cord. I rearranged how I've got this set up today from last night, which wasn't working. And it seems to be working better, but it's just gonna take me a little bit to dial it in. Found my first half Balboa last week, Gerald. Welcome, Gerald, and very cool find. Master Guns, uh, you mean next Saturday? We, uh, it should be four, I think, uh, just like last night. Right, baby? Yeah. Yeah, we can unplug it for a little bit. Let it cool down. Yeah, it's a little warm. Yeah, we try to we try to stick to four boxes on Saturday and two boxes on Sunday. Um, occasionally, we've stretched Sunday and Saturday. Um, two thousand three Denver Nipsey. But we usually wind up. Um, when we go to like six boxes on a Saturday, oh, that, that we usually regret that on Sunday. Because <laughs> you don't get much sleep between finishing Saturday and starting Sunday when you do that. So, and if you can imagine, part of what I'm trying to dial in over here to my left is where I throw the wrappers, how I throw the wrappers, and where the coins going back to the bank go, and how to make it easier to sort them for the uh, the bags. Uh, before we used to just dump them all in a big pile and then you know count them out um, one roll at a time when we were wrapping them. Um, and the wrappers I would peel off and just toss them on the floor. So imagine six or eight boxes of wrappers piled up on the floor all around our feet, and the dog under the table, and and Sweetie trying to work behind me and. It just it made for a mess, and we had to clean that up. And <laughs> so now, now it's it's today, it's, tonight. It seems to be working pretty good. Um, so I'll dial it in, and then uh, 2006 D Nipsey, and then I've got some plans to kind of maybe improve the table a little bit. And, and uh, just the whole experience. 2006 P Nipsey. It'll make it easier on us and make it easier on you guys and, and on my sweetie. And <laughs> yeah, Gunny, it's, uh, it ain't cheap. But, hey, it's part of the deal, man. Two 
2005 PNFC. Unfortunately, it's got the ring of death, but rules say that's your coin. So Smurf Girl gets that one too. Two thousand eleven P Nifsey. Two thousand three Nifsey, really shiny one. This is a good sign. There's hope. Where there's that many Nifsies, there could be more good stuff. Terry, welcome. Ooh, lots of shiny ones in this roll. 78. 97. 2000. Bummer. Okay, let's see what else we find in here. We've done that and then just pulled out commemorative. So, or proofs. So you never know. Sweetie, you see the message from Coin Collection? Oop, frozen again. Gotta plug the battery in. Uh, yep, low battery. It's working again. Thank you, sweetie. Yep, you guys should be good to go again. That was, uh, it's a trade off between letting the phone overheat and shutting, you know, locking up, and then we wind up going to 2.0 and 3.0 and all that, or doing this thing that Apple taught us uh, as an interim fix where we charge it all the way before we uh, start the live stream, like hours before we start the live stream, and with the cover off, and let it cool down, and don't use it, and then plug it in when it's 100%, start the live stream, don't plug the battery in, and then wait till we get that first frozen, because the battery's gone low and it wants the charger. And then we plug that in, and then... Tonight, yep, this be to the rescue. Not the first time, won't be the last time, too. 2006 P. Um, so we made it through all of last night. And so far, it's been working pretty good. But, like I said, it's a short-term fix. It's not going to solve our problem long-term. Um, okay, Smurf Girl, you got seven Nipsies and a, and a Benji on the table already, and you got six pulls coming, right? Right. Yeah. And hopefully I can actually pull some here. Excuse me. Yeah, Tiny, that's one of the things that we're looking at is, is upgrading the camera to something better. But 
then you can't just upgrade the camera because most of the cameras don't have decent sound. The software that we're using now doesn't support that. So, it, you know, and the, and the cameras aren't like a phone. They don't broadcast over the internet or, or over the cell signal like the, the iPhone does. So there's just all these different pieces to the puzzle that it's kind of like trade, you know, you can't upgrade the tires. You got to trade the whole car in, you know. JB, are you adding a .999 chip to the black bag? Master Guns wants to know. <laughs> um, hmm. I'm going to have to think about that one. It's pretty much everything. Let's see. You know, I didn't even think about that. With the, with the half dollars, 2019, yeah, those are going to 0 .99. 0.999 as well, I believe, with the 2019s. So, yeah, I mean, we've been doing 40% and 90% all this time, what, 55 years worth? And now, now we're going to have uh, another, another metal. Um, didn't really think of that, and I already shook these. I don't know why I'm shaking them again. First pull. Because I'm a space cadet, 40%. Good way to start. 67 for Smurf Girl. Second pull. Blank. Yeah, Real Roller, we've actually had a couple times when the internet's down, we've had to use our phone as a hotspot uh, to do that, to make the live streams happen. Number three, but again, that's not a long-term solution. Um, so, uh, so three left. Come on, Smurf Girl. 40 percenter. There we go. 68D to go with the 67. Two to go. I think two to go. I know you guys will check me if I'm wrong. I think, it, I think this is two to go. Fiber is not available in our area. 40 percenter. There we go. All we have is good old Comcast and uh, good old fashioned AT&T, I think, uh, telephone, copper wiring. We do not have fiber. Uh, one to go. Blank on the last one. But, once again, Smurf Girls got a pretty good haul here. You got the 90% Benji. You got three 40 percenters, Kennedys. You got four Silvers there. And then you have seven Nifsies. So that's pretty good. So hopefully that's a good sign for the rest of the box. Thank you much, Smurf Girl. Hope you're happy with that. Glad you're happy. All right, next up is Daniel McGriff. And Daniel has four rolls. Let's see, which way did I go? I went this way. So, two... Three, 
for. Sip of coffee. Oh man, even good her coffee is awesome. Yeah, we even looked into um, like a Hughes satellite type uh, internet connection and we have the skies for it down here and everything, um, you know, pretty, pretty clear, not, not uh, perfect, but it just doesn't seem like it has the um, upload and download and the expense is pretty stiff, so... We keep hoping that they're going to pull fiber here, but it doesn't sound like they're going to. Yeah, Linda, we, we, we are not fans either. And uh, in the last month or two, I think they have, um, yeah, 5G is supposed to be coming and it is supposed to change everything. But again, the question is where we live, will we get 5G? Because we're not close enough to town, so we may not get that signal out here. Whoops, as I drop one trying to get to the shiny one. Drop two, trying to get to the shiny one. But we will find a way. <laughs> we will find a way. Well, Lonnie, welcome. You've had it at your workplace for a year and don't notice any difference. That's <laughs> so much for it uh, being the solution. I had heard not too long ago that they were talking at CNET, that, uh, which is the big industry, one of the big industry shows for all things electronics and that. Um, and forgive me because I'm not in that industry, but, uh, and I know some of you guys are, but um, for the average person like me, what I took away from it was that 5G is behind schedule and... Um, and may not actually work with all networks and all phones and all that kind of stuff. So um, I'm pretty I'm pretty sure that the plan for us going forward is that we want to stay on good old hard landline, but fiber optic would be wonderful because the cable in the ground in this subdivision is, well, the one at our house is almost brand new, but the one coming to our house, the main trunk line is probably 15, 18 years old, something like that. So probably not good single signal strength. We're probably losing a lot literally in the ground um, because of the age of the cable. So Daniel, you got one Nipsey, and you got two pulls. So I gotta find you some good stuff. Karina Muratella, welcome. Dominina, welcome. Jake, welcome. Brandon, welcome. 
I like that future. You see, you see Brandon's. He's got future millionaire on there. <laughs> Very cool, man. You know, we got T-shirts that say that. That's that's really cool. <laughs> I hope that's where you got that from. Ah, blank. Uh, Terry, the rolls tonight are sold out. Um, the next ones will be next Saturday. We'll have four boxes next Saturday as usual, so you'll be able to get boxes for next Saturday. Uh, Daniel, I got one pull left. I got to try and pull something good for you. Pulani, great T-shirts, future millionaire. Once again, I gotta, I gotta give it to my sweetie. Her graphic skills are unreal, man. Um, we'll sit down and talk about stuff, and and you know, they're 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 basically all her ideas, and she'll just, you know, sometimes ask me if I like it. But like, you know, the coffee mug. I just said it'd be nice to have a coffee mug, and and. She came up with it. 40 percenter. So at least we got one. Um, 67 40 percenter and a 2003 D Nifsey for Daniel. Thank you very much, Daniel. Congratulations. All right, wishful thinking's up. Four rolls, and there's four rolls right here in the front. So, there we go. And a marked one, 40 percenter. There we go. Way to start out. Another shiny 67. My arms are hairy. <laughs> yeah, they are. I'm a hairy beast. Um, ruler, they won't they won't bother to do that. The best that we've been able to get is from the connection to our house to the service box at the sidewalk. And luckily I know enough that when they change the cable for the fourth or fifth time from the service box to the house in like two years. Um, I went ahead and changed and upgraded the cable from the outside of the service box to the inside of the service box because they wouldn't do it. That was inside service work. They don't do that. Well, I know how, so did that, made sure that it was upgraded, you know, better than what they were bringing in. So we've got like spaghetti somewhere in the lawn, I'm sure, of five or six or more, uh, probably dead cables and one live one, you know. A <laughs> form of the rare intelligence, that's question. <laughs> Yeah, that would be the eighth language that my sweetie speaks is Neanderthal, so she can talk to me. Boom shakalaka. Way to go. Welcome. Karina, no. Coin stores do not grade the coins. I mean, they will mark what they think the grade is. And there are coin shops that are certified or are authorized is probably the better word. They're not certified. Uh, you get certified by going through a certification class 
with the ANA, um, which we're members of. Um, but um, the coin shop can be members like we are to the ANA and PCGS and NGC to submit coins for you and charge a fee over and above that. And they can mark on their coins that they're selling what the grade is. But not all coin shop uh, people are actual certified graders that have gone through uh, the ANA program and gotten certified to issue an official grade that the grading company would accept. The grading companies, for the most part, are the only ones that can issue a grade and put it in a slab with the company's logo on there. It's not to say that there are not some folks out there that go out and buy the slabs and make their own labels and um, put their own grades in there. So you have to be careful when you're looking at slab coins. We've done videos on that. Um, so do you go to coin shows? Yeah, we go to coin shows all the time. We do not go as uh, vendors. Uh, we go there as tourists just like everybody else 2006 NIFSI um, that's where we get uh, a good portion of the coins that we give away to you guys and also obviously we find some coins for for our list for our collection um, coins that we need to fill out our collection um, fill holes in our collection that type of thing and and gifts to each other sometimes sometimes we find something at a show that we know the other one wants really bad and we'll do that but um, mostly uh, we go to a lot of the shows and um, B will go and she knows exactly what she wants to get for the channel and she will go from dealer to dealer and haggle and and these poor old guys just don't know what hit them and um, um, she knows her stuff, man. She she knows she knows what spot she knows everything that she needs to know before she ever walks in the building or sits down at the guy's table. In the last show, she actually sweated one guy. <laughs> Funny as heck. She kept walking back and forth past him, and we buy from him all the time. And finally, the third or fourth time we went by, he goes, "What? You're not going to stop?" <laughs> It was pretty funny. But no, we have a lot of fun. We love going to we love going to the shows. We love going to um auctions, um, you know, estate sales if we can get to them before everybody else does. Um, but that's kind of low on the totem pole. Mostly it shows uh, a couple of our friends or that we've become friends with some of the coin shop owners. Um So, blank on the first one. One left, wishful thinking. Come on. Forty percenter. There we go. Yeah, seriously, this channel would not exist, and I probably would not exist if Sweetie were not around. It 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 is in every respect um, something she has built. The website, Facebook, everything. I mean, all of this stuff. Content, videos, hands me a script. You know, I mean. Two forties, two nifsies. Thank you, wishful. Wishful wants her coins from last night and tonight to go to Bonnie's Twins if we could do that. So, next up, we're at 184, so we're 16 away from the next giveaway. And, of course, the end of the box when we get there. 
Nathaniel is up. Got two rolls. No marks. Good luck, Nathaniel. And as we said at the end of the live stream, after we do however many giveaways we wind up doing tonight, um, the very last giveaway we'll do tonight, live on the air, will be the pennies from the video about the 1958 wheat pennies. And there's a 58 BU in there. There is a steel penny in there. There's one of the Indian heads that we found in that roll in there. And then there are eight or seven other coins that are all like 1919, 1920, very early coins that are in really, really nice shape. So that whole set will go to uh, someone who entered in that video and they don't have to be here. So the first name we call, if they have met the criteria of being a subscriber and, and doing what the instructions are in that video, we'll get all 10 of those coins. 2002 D Nifsey, nice shiny one. <laughs> Brian wants to know, Mrs. B, do you have a sister who's single? No. Nope. When God made her, he made her so perfect that he knew he couldn't make another copy. So he broke the mold and she's the only one. And I'm an only child too, but, <laughs> but I don't fit the description she does. She's, she is the love of my life. She is absolutely awesome in every way. She's a great mom. She's a great grandma. Um, or a wonderful grandma. She's not a great grandma yet. Um, another 20 years maybe. But um, yeah. Uh, couldn't. And wouldn't want to do anything without her. Mrs. B is a certified unicorn. Nobody is probably going to get this reference from real world. Yeah, I hear people throwing the unicorn reference around all over the place. So, I don't get it. <laughs> is it because you can't find a unicorn? Is that what it is? Coin collection, what's the rarest coin you have? Um, there again, I don't know. Uh, my sweetie would know. Um, Forty. Yay, we got one. 67 40 percenter and 2002 pretty 2002 nifsey for nathaniel thank you nathaniel Next up, Mark with four rolls. No Mark rolls. Good luck, Marf. Mark.
Oh man, Brian, that's like totally wrong. You know, don't forget, this is a family channel. Two thousand four D Nipsey. Two thousand two D Nipsey. You're welcome, Tiny. I'm not sure who got it either, but um, that's the kind of stuff that's not allowed on here. Two thousand three, nice shiny Nipsey. Let's see what else we got in here. What do you think of this one, sweetie? I think it's kind of cool. What do you think? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Um, this is an 82 Philadelphia half dollar, and you can kind of see the gold toning here. And I know a couple of you have asked about gold toning. This is not a 24 karat gold plated coin. And the back is really pretty you can hopefully make it out it looks like you can on the camera um that's just a really cool one um it's um it's not a rainbow obviously but it's it's gold toning and it's uh it's just a, a really really pretty coin it's kind of like the ones that we find occasionally that are the uh, pale gunmetal blue they're not rainbows either but but they just they just take on this this unique color that um, when it's evenly spread across the coin, it just makes for a really unique, beautiful appearance on the coin. So um, let's see. So Mark has four coins on the table, and he has two poles. Excuse me.
blank on the first one. Um, Ida, that's one for Sweetie. Uh, I think she just did um, put together a video for me not too long ago uh, where she did all the research and, and all that like she does on all of them. Um, I think that was one of them. 46? Are you answering her? Oh, we haven't we haven't posted it yet. Okay, that's why it's so fresh in my mind. The video will be up soon, like in the next couple of days. So uh, she actually just had had me shoot one. Uh, she does all the research and writes these things. And I mean, seriously, guys, when I say I'm just a talking head, especially on the videos, most of the time it's that's absolutely the case. Is my wife smarter than me? Yeah, yeah. She's better than me at just about everything I can think of. <laughs> I, I mean, I let's put it this way. I'm not sure I could think of something that she's not smarter than me or better than me at. I'm a great cook. She's a better cook. I'm a good shot. She's a better shot. I'm decent looking, especially for my age. She's smoking. And I believe this is the last pull for Mark. No, I'm not the arm candy, dude. I don't. I don't know. Maybe I am the arm candy. I. I <laughs> that's Sharon saying that. Um. So I'm not. I'm not sure how that would work. Um. She doesn't need arm candy. She's the arm candy and Albert Einstein on the inside. You know, it's like. Um. That's one of the reasons that I fell in love with her when we met is, is I've never, I've got a pretty high IQ, but uh, I've never met anybody that just blows me away like she does, you know, um, you know, it's just, it's just, um, she's just one of a kind, yeah. And I seriously don't know. I, I don't, I don't even want to think about what life would be like um, going back to not having her. So you got three Nipsies and that 82 gold uh, patina coin mark. Unfortunately, we didn't score any silver for you, but thank you very much. That's Mark. And then this next one, sweetie, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So Heather Campbell is up next. Thank you, Ahmed. We I think God already blessed both of us by putting us together and putting us on the path together. Um, we are, um, as somebody uh, said to us recently, um, that we're close friends with. Uh, we are a match set. Um, we 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 fit. You know. Um, one without the other is okay, better than, better than average, you know, whatever. I'm not sure how you would say that, but together we are, we are just, um, um, we have a term we use, but I don't, I don't want to, that's our term. That's, that's for us. Thanks for answering that real ruler. Um, so Heather Campbell is up next. Two rolls. Um, age difference between us. I'd have to even think about that. Um, she's younger than me. Let's put it this way. She's younger than me by more than five years, but like, like not a child. She's, she's close but you know but it is more than five years good luck Heather
2004 D Nipsey, real nice shiny one. Somebody painted one red or purple, not sure what that is. Tony, I hope you have the love story my parents had. They were married 71 years. I don't know if I'll live long enough for us to make it to 71 years, but I'd be happy with with 50 or 60. Um, um, we are, in, in, in my mind, and I, I'm pretty sure in her mind, um, we are a love affair um, and a love story. And um, she is the love of my life, and nothing else even comes close. I love my kids and my grand and my granddaughter, but my sweetie is is my world. So. Okay, Heather, I got one pull to make it good. Ah, blank. Shoot. Sorry, Heather. I do have the 2004... D Nifsey, it's very pretty. No silver though. Thank you. Hope you had a hope you're having fun. Like we always say, that's the most important thing. We could give you all kinds of silver, but if you're not having a good time, it's just not the same. Earl no markings. Earl is next. Take a sip of water. No, Donovan, there's no hundreds in that bag because there's no 100% silver. dollar coin I thought there was I know there's a $50 coin but I thought there was a hundred dollar coin at some point they don't make it anymore wasn't there a hundred dollar coin back in the day sweetie mm -hmm. I think that's what I thought it was a gold coin right mm -hmm. yeah Ooh, that's a pretty one. This one's an 88 Denver. He's got a couple of fine scratches on his cheek and one in the field, but you can see the blue rim uh, if I get the light just right. It's right around the letters. It's starting to spread into the field. And let me flip this over to the back side. That center is all that gunmetal blue, and the outside is like a reddish brown, and that'll all that'll all uh, rainbow up real nice. That's a very pretty coin.
if I'm understanding your right coin collection, yeah, if uh, 1970 was the last year other than special editions or special issues, right? Or proof, now they have the, since 92, they have the proof sets um, with silver back in them. Um, but what we've got on the table here, if it's 70, if it's 64 or older, it's 90%. If it's 65 to 70, it's 40%. If it's after 1970, the only ones that are either 40 or 90% are the ones that are special issue. Hopefully that is the easy way to say it. <laughs> right now, I'm... Uh, Earl, sorry, I got you the, the beautiful rainbow. I got one pull to try and get you some silver. Are the 76 to 96 coins special because I have a half dollar of that and a huge dollar coin as well? Yes, they are. Those are the those coins were made from 75 to 76. That's why you'll never find a 1975 coin. Um, the, they minted them for two years for the bicentennial of um, the Revolutionary War in 1776, Declaration of Independence uh, um, here in the States. And there are um, proof sets of those in 40% silver there are also clad sets that are 40% silver, but there are also circulating coins. They made a gazillion of them for those two years. But if they are in good shape, if they're in nice shape, um, you know, no flaws, no scratches, um, especially if they're a rainbow, like the one we found earlier tonight, um, they're very desirable. Um, they are still very common because they made so many but in higher grades they're very valuable and in um and in good condition they're getting harder and harder to find because they're still in circulation so anything that's in nice condition we take it out of circulation if it's a quarter or a half dollar by centennial and we put it away um, because eventually these will go away could be a year could be five years, could be ten years. We don't know, but eventually, half dollars in circulation, even from the banks, will go away, and whatever bicentennials people have put away will be the only ones that are available. So, just like anything else, the value will go up because the availability will cease to exist. It's like if you had the way back time machine and you could go back to 1964 and buy all the silver, you know, either the, the brand new Kennedys or the Morgans and all the other, you know, silver that was in circulation back then were very little. You know, they were just starting to make clad, so everything was silver. And you had, you know, ten, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 that you could go back and buy nothing but silver coins back then for face value and then bring them forward you'd be retired, man. It, it's just, you know, um, but some people saw it and some people hoarded them. And, and that's where a lot of these big, huge stashes and collections come from. Yeah, it is different for every region. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Like Sweetie said, Uh, that's sweet, Ida. Very accurate. So, Earl, I got just the one, man. Uh, 
three percenter. Yeah. All right. I almost didn't want to pull that, man. I didn't want to pull a blank on you. 67. Another beauty. And this nice 88 rainbow. I think that's one of the ones that, that Ida calls wannabes because they're, they're still baby rainbows. <laughs> Media man, welcome. That was uh, Earl Spinelli. Next up, David Smith. We are nine away from the next giveaway prior to the end of the box and also the final giveaway from the video, which you still have time to enter into if you have not. Uh, so David Smith, 10 rolls. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. No marked ones there. Black one. Okay, that'll work. We got at least one forty percenter going down on the table here. Sixty-five. D, welcome. Uh, coin collection. The the live streams normally are only on weekends, Saturday night and Sunday night. Um, Eight p.m. Eastern Saturday, seven thirty p.m. Eastern on Sunday, four boxes on Saturday, two on Sunday. That's the normal pattern. But we do occasionally do what we call pop-up or no warning live streams when we have something special going on. And that's what I keep warning about is that this week we are probably going to have at least one um, no warning pop-up um, live stream. So... Um, we don't know when it's going to be. That's why we. That's why we say no warning. And we're going to have a very special Saturday coin roll hunt um, as well. So, and then of course, like I say, within the next forty-eight hours, we should hit seventy-five thousand, which will end the ability to enter for the 75,000 subscriber giveaway uh, in that video. And uh, we'll give away those two Morgans. Um, so, gonna be a busy week. It's gonna be a lot of fun. And then the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, Saturday is gonna be amazing. 2006, uh, Denver, Nifsey, beautiful one. I'm picking from the side here. Another 2006 Philadelphia. So you got P and D. There you go. There's 2006 P and D. So yeah, you definitely don't want to miss next Saturday's um, live stream, and you want to make sure if you haven't already that you enter into these videos. Um, the 58 penny video that we'll be giving away tonight at the end of the live stream and the 75,000 subscriber thank you video that will be ending whenever it hits 75,000 uh, in the next 48 hours or so. Yeah, make sure you have your notification bell turned on this week. Uh, if you If you don't have it turned on, uh, for whatever reason, um, I know a lot of people that have turned it off because it can get annoying. Uh, if you have multiple channels, especially that you that you 
watch. 2006D, another one. Uh, but you definitely want it on between now and Saturday for sure. Um, for those of you that are new, just to give you an idea, um, one of the pop-up live streams that we did, no warning, we went, uh, Sweetie and I did an auction, uh, attended an auction that was of a coin collector's estate. And we wound up spending way more than we planned on spending, which is not unusual but, and also very easy to do. Um, but we came home with a table, our kitchen table was stacked that high with silver. And there were certain things that we wanted and the way they had the lots set up, you had to buy the entire lot. You know, if you didn't want the entire lot, you just wanted one thing, you still had to buy the entire lot. So we had, God, we had, I, th I think we spent hour and a half, two hours, and we had a no warning pop-up live stream that was basically a silver auction, and we sold all the silver that we didn't need or want, you know, um, that wasn't what we were buying for ourselves, uh, and at the time, we couldn't afford even to keep some of that stuff for giveaways. Um, we were selling um, original mint sets in the paper envelopes from the late 50s and early 60s into the early 70s and special edition mint sets, uh, special edition silver sets, um, just, just all kinds of things that you, you can imagine. We did that for like an hour and a half, two hours, and we sold it all for what it cost us and the cost of shipping, and that was it. Um, and we've done similar things to that, you know, not that exact thing, but we've done similar things, you know, before. So when we have a pop-up video, it's usually it's usually a very unique one one-time event, and that's why I say we're gonna have we're gonna have one. Um, we're going to have a couple, yeah, because we also did, I think we did two for Grove Minting when they announced their new, um, their new coins, and, and they were made available only to our subscribers. So, so there, will be, there will be probably two between now and Saturday, and then Saturday is going to be like we like we said, it's gonna just be a blast. It's, it's just gonna be amazing. 2003 D Nipsey. David, I'm trying, man. You got Nipsey's on the table. You got the 65 silver. Uh, John L., we, we, um, we don't have a lot of emails because we don't usually keep them. We have, we have some emails, okay, a handful. Um, 2005, beautiful 2005 Denver Nipsey. Um, but what we do is we post at the top of our channel in the community section We'll usually post like an hour or two hour warning that we're going to go live at, you know, in an hour or whatever. Um, otherwise, it's just, um, um, it's just, you know, we set up the camera and we go live. Um, so that's why we say you, you, you want to have your notifications set because if we post, a lot of people don't know where the community section is in the uh on the channel page it's right next to the video button that gives you all of our videos on one screen basically um but a lot of people don't know 
to hit it or check it for news. It's where we put polls and things like that. So if you have your notification button, when we post the notification up there, that should set off your, your notification bell. And then that'll tell you that, you know, in an hour we're going live or, you know, however much time. And then when we actually turn the camera on, you should get a second bell. Um, but prefer you get the first one because we've had people tell us that they didn't get the bell for an hour. So if, if we have a warning, you know, some lead time, 2007 Denver NIFSI. Um, you know, we'll try the best we can to make sure and get it out ahead of time. But um, at least two of them, we might not have the ability to do that. It might be, you know, we know about it and boom, we got to get it out. Um, Kron Prinz Allen, welcome. My wife and I really enjoy your videos. I used to think we were the only coin roll hunters out there. We even have an old scan o -matic. oh my gosh, for hunting pennies, nickels, and dimes. Don't know how old it is. It's very old, dude. I don't know how old it is either, but I remember those when I was a kid. And, and I'm older than dirt. What? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe puppy got it. I don't even... Wow, look how shiny this thing is. 2005 P. Nifsey. Yeah, it's getting hot again. So hopefully we can get through this before that thing overheats. I mean, we could try and unplug it again. Let it cool down a little bit. It's been hooked up for a while. Um... We just have to keep our eyes out for when it when it freezes up. Gives us the low battery warning. That's just sweetie unplugging the cable. Okay, last roll for David. He's in his usual spot, of course, has been since I sat down and, <laughs> wow, just reminded me that he's down there. <laughs> Burgonator, welcome. All right, so David has six pulls. Let's see if we can't add some silver to that. Good luck, David. Blank. Yeah, when we finish these pulls, we will have the next giveaway. Five more. Come on. They're slipping out of my hand. Blank. Those can slip out of my hand. We ought to put thumbtacks on the ones that, that don't have a number on them or something. Or maybe the other way around. Four left. Yort, welcome. Four left. Blank. Three left. Huh? I did upside down. I did sideways. I did left-handed. I closed my eyes. I've been doing all kinds of different things all night. 
You want to try it? <laughs> no, because you know you'll get stuck with it again. <laughs> double shake? I'm not sure how you do the double shake. How about flip it? There we go. <laughs> Braille marks. There you go. Oh, man. See? Stand on your head. I know. It's it's stand on my head and spit nickels. Yeah. Or half dollars in this case. Put the bag on your head and then pull. No, the bag's too small to fit on my big old head. Um, two left. I'll try left-handed again. I, I, I did it until it didn't work anymore. Okay, I'm holding the string so the bag doesn't get away. My eyes are closed. Take a drink. Oh my god. One left. Yeah, I see that now. Yeah. When you pull a blank, throw it out. There you go. That's been suggested before too. Um, I got one left for David. God. Come on, Lord, I need a 90 here. It's 190. Sorry, David. Yeah, let the dog pick them. Probably would do a better job. Sorry, guys. Sorry, David. Yeah. So, luckily you had the mark roll, so you have the 65, 40 percenter that's absolutely gorgeous. And then you have seven Nifsies. I wish... I wish they were silver. Thanks, David. Appreciate that. Okay, so now we have giveaway for 200, which is... Oh, okay. That's... That's the little bag too, right? Okay. All right. That's what I thought. All right. So this... No. This is, again, this is a sample of what's in that video of what Barbara sent. Okay. This is part of how it came. Um, she called it the Jamaica set, I believe. Um, it's a $1 note from the Bank of Jamaica, and it's, um, I believe, from 1986. And then look at this old, old-timey, like, travel thing. And so that was, that was part of the packaging. This is the actual bill is in here. And then look at all these coins. I mean, a square, 87 Aruba. There is, there's a couple of Balboas in here. There's a Columbia. Um, I thought there were two Balboas, but I can't remember. Yeah, you're going to have to watch the video because all of these coins in this little bag go with this $1 Jamaican bill. That's this giveaway. And we're not even scratching the surface of what was in that package. So... Um, Thank you, Barbara, and good luck to everybody. This is one you really want. Um, 144 entrants. That's good odds. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. Heather Campbell, enter me in the giveaway, please. 
Is Heather still here? <laughs> Moss man tried to go to bed early, laid in bed for three hours. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it doesn't work like that. Griffin, welcome. Heather Campbell. She said good night after her rolls. Oh man, she's gonna be upset if she sees this. Master Guns, I'm her proxy. Sweetie says she still has 30 seconds. So Yeah, she's here. Oh, she is here. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Check it out, man. Whoop, low battery. Okay, cool. <laughs> Check this out. You get you get all of this. It's I can't even describe. I mean, when you watch if you watch the video when we post it of what Barbara sent. This is from Barbara Ray's. It's a portion. This is one she said this is a set. Okay? So when you guys watch that and see what she sent in, it's amazing. Um, so Heather, congratulations. As always, you've got a week to make sure and get us your screen name, mailing name and address, uh, and send it to jbcoins, uh, inc at gmail.com. You got a week to get it to us. Um, obviously we prefer if you get it to us by tomorrow because, uh, that way sweetie can get it packed up and not make multiple trips. Um, Huh? I am. Um, okay, so next up, got to put my little tray back up here. Thank you, Barbara. Yeah, absolutely. Um, stacking Stobuck, five rolls. Two, four, and five. No marked rolls. Kim, all all the giveaways. I'm I'm not sure. The 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 pennies over here are not on the same giveaway as. The other giveaways on the table. Um, okay, good. I was worried that the screen froze. Um, so the other giveaways are the normal, um, you know, when you register for that, it's everything on the table tonight. Um, this is the 1958 um, Wheat Penny video, and we will draw that last tonight. But that you have to go and enter on that video. So. Okay. So. Stacking Stobuck. Good luck. And then if, if you're talking about the video about what's what Santiago and Barbara sent that'll be live after the live stream's done we'll try again since we're getting good signal we'll try again to upload it it would not upload this afternoon no matter how many times we tried um, and uh, when you see that it's just it's just amazing Hi, Ginger. Hi, Square Fingers. Hi, Chief. T 
2006 Dean FC. And we are oversold, so we, we will have a couple extra rolls like last night that we will basically add to the box or just, you know, add them to tonight's live stream to cover the folks that, um, that we oversold. There's a bright, shiny one. It's a 93, bright, shiny one. It's a bicentennial, and it's got the circle of death. There's a 77. Okay. Ooh, some really nice looking shiny ones. There's a 2005 Nifsey. Unfortunately, it's got a little, a few bites from the circle of death there. Um, but that's your coin. But there's a couple of really chunky ones here. Wow, that's an 80p. 1980p. Look how thick and bright that thing is. Another one here, 86. Okay, we're just going to go through the rest. Night, Heather. Yep, long week ahead. I understand that. Congrats. Hope to see you next weekend uh, and maybe at the pop ups. Nope, it's a Karina. It is not too late to enter for either the giveaways on the table uh, that are part of the regular live stream or for the pennies that are from the 58. Yep, cool. Thank you, Real Ruler. Dan Kubik, welcome. Three pulls for stacking Stobuck. Good luck. Forty percenter. Yay. Sixty seven. Two more. Yay! 
Welcome, Shin. Coming in at the tail end of the show, but that's okay. We're having a good time. Giving stuff away. Another 40 percenter. Yay! <laughs> 60 AD to add to that 67. One more pull. Another 40 percenter. Hey, three in a row. 69D. So you got 67, 68, 69, 40 percenters. And then you have two Nissies. Thank you very much, Stacking Stobuck. Congratulations. Cosette, uh, this is the last of our second box for tonight. Next Saturday, we'll do four again. Next Sunday, we'll do two again. And set your notification if you have it turned off, the little bell. We're going to have two, possibly three, uh, no warning or last minute pop-up live streams with major announcements, major events, that kind of stuff. That's all I can say. Um, so... <laughs> Maybe I just need to say yay at the end of every poll. Yeah. Scare the coins the, the coins or the chips. Macro is up next. He has five rolls. And he's got a black one, so he's got a 40 percenter. Start out with a 68D. Good luck. Yep, got to send your address every week. If you win stuff Saturday and Sunday, you only have to send it once. But every week, you got to send it. Because we really honestly don't hang on to them. Big, thick, shiny one. Ooh, very pretty 2004P Nifsy. Very thick, shiny edge. I really do. I really do like pulling those like that because you just don't know what it's going to be. It could be a Nifsy. It could be a 1980. It could be an S-proof. It could be a commemorative. You just don't know. But. It's just kind of a variation on, you know, seeing a white line and seeing if it's silver or not. Wow, lots of shiny ones in this one and a green one. Let's see what the green one is first. It's a penicillin coin. <laughs> There right, we go, 2017D, the, the ender is a 2017D Nipsey. Yeah, we actually did a video on that, if you remember, Real Ruler, about the privacy settings, um, how, you, how you can set them up so that you can still get the notifications and not open your privacy up, um, you know, wide open. And 
during the shooting of the video, we found out that we had our set wrong. 2003 Nipsey. Fergonator. Hey, fellow vets. I just found this really cool site for veteran t-shirts and other stuff. It's called Grunt Style. I thought I'd share it with all of you. Very cool. A, didn't know you were a vet, Fergonator. Welcome, welcome to the team. <laughs> um, thank you for your service. 2009 Nipsey. That's the good, that's one of the good years, 2009. Um, there's also one, there's a website that there's a guy at work that keeps pestering me about it. Um, and it's for veterans and that kind of stuff too. Oh man, I'm going to draw a blank. Cause it's, it's, it's like a, it's like a variation on a phrase that we've all heard if we were in the military. And I can't remember the name of it right now. Eight years. Wow. Yeah, I was I was a total of six technically. I was three three years active, three years reserve. Two thousand five Nipsey. Makro has three pulls. Makro's loving those Nipsies. There you go. Gerald, am I in the running for giveaway, free giveaways since I'm subscribed and watching the feed, or do I need to do something else? Okay. For the giveaways during the live stream that we do like at the end of the box or when we hit 200, that type of thing, um, you just need to go to, um, yeah, you, Real Ruler just put it up yeah, for, I, for I that. that yeah, all right, I'll concentrate on polls and they'll take care of getting you hooked up. Um, so Makoto has three coming. Forty percenter. Sixty AD. Nope, got a sixty AD there. Got a, nope, nope. Sixty-seven. Try to mix them up. Two to go. Forty percenter. Sixty six. One more. Blank. Two out of three in bed, but you wound up with three anyway because of the mark roll. So you got three 40 percenters and you got five Nipsies. There you go, Macro. Thank you very much. Congratulations. And we already did the 200 giveaway, correct? Okay. Wanji's next with five rolls. The last two from the box. 
three from an extra box. Makes five, no marked rolls. Good luck. What is an NIFC? It means not intended for circulation. Hmm? Yep, real ruler will reply. As he always does. He is a godsend. I'm glad I'm glad he was willing to do this. Real ruler, thank you very much. You have no idea. Um, huge help. Huge help for B, especially. Poppy. No more pizza for you. Whew. Wow. <laughs> you, you can smell it over there. Oh, man. No wonder my eyes are watering. Oh, man. Don't do that, Macro. That's how some people missed out on good stuff last night. That doesn't look right. Here you go. See what you think. Oops. Sorry. Hmm? Does that look right to you? Yeah, I don't think so either. Turn on the HEPA filter. No, it's more like the... Uh, uh, oh God, what they used to call it, uh, the suits we used to have to wear, uh, this would be back 40 years ago when I was in the Navy, um, N NBC suits, was it NBC suits, nuclear, biological, and chemical? No, Donna Mac, I didn't do it. Yeah. I take credit for mine, <laughs> but uh, wow. That's the only thing I can think of that he got tonight different from his regular food is he got to eat the crust. You guys called it mop gear? Yeah, it was. I think it was NBC, nuclear, biological, and chemical when I was in. Like I said, that was like, you know, in the seventies. <laughs> the uh, um, Michigan-oriented protective posture. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, that's that's a whole nother deal. Um, I was going to say that was when we uh, had duck and cover lessons in school. Duck under your metal desk in front of the glass window so that... <laughs> and I'll leave it at that because I'm sure we still have some little ones watching somewhere. Okay, nothing in the rolls for Juan. Juan's got three pulls.
Yeah, you'd need something with like charcoal filters in it, probably. <laughs> Blank. Okay, so where did that go? Yeah, I grew up in an inner city school and it was built in the late 1800s, 1890, 1900 maybe. And it had from the windowsill, which was probably three feet off the ground, to the ceilings were probably 20 feet in the air. It was all giant glass windows, you know, single pane, or not single pane, multi pane you know, all the way up. Um, so it was, it was all glass. 40 percenter. 60 AD. One more pull. Forty percenter. There we go. That'll work. 67 to go with the 68. So one, you got two silvers. Thank you very much. And looks like the last one is um, OU812 has two rolls. No marking. Good luck. Um, you got the count for that, right? Or okay, yep. Time for the Morgan giveaway. We can't be at seventy-five thousand right now. I have no way to check. That'd be like 500 subs in two hours. It'd be cool. Oh, anything's possible. But <laughs> yeah, he's just messing around. He wants one. <laughs> Nothing in those rolls. And one pull. That would be awesome, Evan. We would love that. We got a couple of videos that are at like 500, 600,000, 40 percenter. There we go. Um, I think one's at 650. Oh, yeah, 12, 68D, 40 percenter. There you go, man. Congratulations. Thank you for being here all the time. Uh, we clear the decks here for a couple of giveaways. So what's the giveaway for the end of the box going to be, sweetie? 
Okay. Yep. Yeah, let me wash my hands real quick before we do these because I don't want to handle this stuff. My hands are real nasty. That's why I picked the box up that way. Okay. Yep. Yep. So this giveaway is from Donna Mac and John L. It's the 2019 United States Mint Proof Set and the 2019 West Point Special Proof uh, Lincoln Penny that comes with the set. So, very awesome gift from Donna Mac and John L. Good luck to everybody. We got 153. Those are really good odds. Earl Spinelli, love you guys, J&B, enter me in tonight's giveaways. Is Earl still here? Andrew Forbes, welcome. He's here but sleeping. I'm his wife. <laughs> that is his wife? Oh. Yeah, unfortunately, you got to wake him up because it needs to come up under his, his name, Earl Spinelli. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> sorry, because everybody claims to be somebody. I mean... It's yeah, I we we know that you are, but I mean it's just it's, that's the rule. <laughs> yeah, Spinelli is a cool name. I agree, Arnie. Oh man, thirty seconds. Curtis is here. <laughs> yeah, he's. Yeah. trying to get it to work yeah it's that if you can that would be the deal I can't get it to post one more minute <laughs>
No guns. They can keep the DNA sample. We really don't want any. <laughs> Michael Gamino, that's close. Time's running out. Spin the wheel, Vanna. <laughs> oh, man. He's logging in. I woke him up. <laughs> Good girl. No, we know you're his wife. That's that's why we're cutting you some slack here. Earl Spinelli, there we go. <laughs> Congratulations, Earl. Now you can go back to sleep. <laughs> Good morning. And you can go back to sleep. Just make sure you guys send us, uh, you know, name, address, all that stuff, so we can get that out to you. Um, <laughs> yep yep so now she's going to switch the link to the um, video for the pennies from the uh, 58 penny video that we did and it's uh, 58 BU a steel war penny it's the Indian, and then seven very early, um, oh, very early and very nice dates. Still okay. good? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, 172 entries. That's, again, very good odds. Good luck. Good luck, everybody. Watch it be Earl Spinelli and you got to wake him up again. <laughs> Arthur Daniel, working on my third book. Okay. Is that what, what were they supposed to put in? Okay. Oh, you got to check if he's a subscriber. Oh, that's right, because with this one, you don't have to be present. So she needs to check and see if he's... Um, if he's a subscriber because um, he's working on his third book of coins. Yep, third book of pennies. Yep. He's not? Oh. Yeah, that was one of the settings that we talked about in the, um, the video. He, he might be, but he might be set to private. And if he's set to private, then it would mean... It would mean that uh, he, we can't verify that he's a subscriber. So uh, it'd be worth checking that video out. Um, how to change your settings, I think it was called. How to manage your, your privacy. How to manage your privacy, yeah. Settings. Yeah, how to manage your privacy settings. Because that's huge for all these things. And it maintains your privacy, but it allows you to, to, to get notification of these. JPM Tech, I collect wheat pennies and would love to be able to add those to my collection. Okay, that qualifies, so she's got to check to see if JPM is a subscriber. Master Gun says I'm his wife. <laughs> Michigan Mud says I'm his brother. Seriously? Okay, that one came up negatory. So either not a subscriber or again set to privacy. Most likely no. Most likely no. So good luck. Yeah. Brandy and Martin, please enter me in the giveaway. Nope. Not a qualifying. Next. Good luck. Eduardo Morales, please enter me in the Wheat Penny giveaway. Great info video as always. Thanks, JB Coins. Nope. 
you guys need to watch the videos to see what it is you're supposed to put in because it's it's different every time. Oh, look at this. Master Guns. Hi, JNB. Please enter me in this giveaway. I've been collecting wheat backs for 40 plus years. Now we have a qualifying entry and we have to check and see if Gunny is actually a subscriber or if he's been faking all this time. <laughs> And my screen is buffering on my computer. Yes, he is. Cool. Yeah, Master Gun says who? <laughs> yeah, that would be you, Gunny. Alrighty. Yep. So Why did I lose that screen again? Man, this new software that YouTube's using is a pain in the keister. Yep, he's here. So, all right, Gunny. So, you win all these, um, all these pennies from the Indian to the 58, and the Indian is the 1906, and the pennies are like 19, 19, 19, 20. Put it like that. Yeah, I was gonna say if I if I pick it up either way, it's gonna mm -hmm. spill. So I'm just gonna leave it on the table for now. So very cool. very cool. All right, we survived another one. We had a lot of fun. Hopefully, we gave away a lot of stuff. Hopefully, these will find two new homes in the next 48 hours. Uh, again, remember for the pop-ups. And check your privacy, check the video that we did on how to, um, how to control, what was it? How to control, how to manage, that's what it is. How to manage your privacy settings. It will allow you to um, allow us, for example, to verify that you are a subscriber, but that will not be public information. Um, it will also allow you to get the notifications and again, that's not public knowledge and you can turn it on and off and all that kind of stuff. So for this week between now and Saturday, especially you want those settings to be active so that we can verify you're a subscriber and so that we can, uh, so that you can get the notification because there's going to be two, possibly three pop-up live streams to, to do very cool stuff and uh and saturdays you know and and these we got to be able to verify that you're a subscriber you know um a couple of those names we pulled before gunny may be subscribers but if they're set to privacy they just lost you know a good prize um so everybody have a great night everybody have a safe work week Ah, okay, cool. Ballad of Janine, welcome back. Um, <laughs> how was your vacation? Uh, we got your postcard, thank you. Um, and we're less than 500 from 75,000 on the Morgan giveaway. Thank you. Thank you to Donna Mac and John L, Pammy J, Santiago, and Barbara, especially uh, for tonight's gifts that we gave away. Um, the video showing the opening of Santiago and Barbara's amazing and stuff and what's coming next in the next coming giveaways. Uh, I mean, literally, the table was full. Um, and we still have gifts from Donna, Mac, and John for this Saturday as well. And we have another surprise that'll be in there as well. The what? Oh, yeah. So the video of the unboxing of Santiago and Barbara's uh, stuff, the rest of the stuff that we didn't already give away tonight, that'll be live in a couple minutes. It's, uh, it's uploading now. So... Um, um, You'll be able to check that out. So thank you to everybody. Um, 
Jmart, why would you say that, man? It's it's this is so random. It 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 can't get any more random. Um, he said so. This is rigged, like. Okay. Um, um, J. Mart. He hasn't. He hasn't won anything. I think is is the deal. So. EVG was here. Oh, I didn't know that. Welcome EVG. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Pammy. There you go. Um, Ballad of Janine. Yeah. Um, 1884 and 1885, New Orleans Morgans for the 75,000 subscribers, which we should hit in the next 48 hours. There's a video about that. Um, so there's going to be two winners in probably the next 48 hours. We're at 74,000 when we started the video tonight or the live stream tonight, it was um, 74,500 uh, It was 74, and change. And the Brandy and Martin one, um, I don't remember if that was that their entry was not a qualifying entry which you have to do what it was not a qualifying entry so you you know the giveaways on the table have one set of guidelines of what you need to do which is very little to get into those the giveaway for the Morgans you have to be a subscriber and you had to do a certain thing I don't even remember what it was Sometimes it's leave a comment. Sometimes it's tell us why well, you got into the hobby, which is what this was. Uh, you have to watch the video. You can't just click on a giveaway video and say, oh, well, it must be this. Enter. Boom. No. We even say, don't say hi. You need to say enter entry giveaway when we're talking about this stuff. So, yeah, we give away, we give away a, a ton of stuff. Um, so, you know, yeah, exactly. Follow the rules or don't play like my sweetie says. Um, but anyway, uh, thank you, Bonnie. Um, Gunny says I'm staying on until 75,000 in the giveaway. You, you, you probably, luckily, you'll only be on for maybe a day or two at this point. Um, it's going to happen pretty quick here. Um, that's why we put it ahead, because we wanted people to have time to enter. Um, so that, um, you know, because we were, we were growing at, at a rate that we could calculate that if it stayed at that rate, we normally try to set it up so that you've got like two weeks and uh, it's, it, you know, that way it's more fun. People can, more people can enter. Um, and, and yeah. And when we hit the 75, it's going to stop. So it's going to be the people that got us to 75. It's not going to be people that jumped on at 75, 100 and, and, and won, which, you know, they'll have plenty of opportunity to win. But we, want, we wanted this one specifically to be the people up to the point we hit 75,000 and, and got us here. It, you know, that's why it's a thank you giveaway. So um, we, we do everything for a reason, and that's why we have rules laid out so that, that you know, it's very clear. But, you know, we do our best. Um, we will sleep well tonight. Uh, thank you, S. Robbins, for that. Um, EVG, you might be surprised, my friend. Uh, we thought the same thing, and um, we were at we were where you are probably four years ago. So maybe maybe a little less. I don't know. Um, but um, 
you know, you got great content. You got you got content that a lot of people are interested in, and you're doing a great job, and you'll get there. So, um, all right. So anyway, thanks again to everybody. Uh, JB, where do all the prizes come from? They come from all different sources, Valerie. Um, in, you know, in the case here tonight, it came from Donna Mac and John L., Pammy J., Santiago, and Barbara Reyes. But then also this and this and some of the other giveaways come from us. Most of the time it comes from us. But then we also have times where a lot of um, family members, um, subscribers, send us stuff to give away as well. And, um, and we just, we just add that to the pile. So, um, I think, I think last, last night, or I, I can't remember, we, we, we've, we've given away like 150 silvers, um, you know, like these in a night. Um, um, so, you know, it takes a lot of time to gather 150 silvers that look like that. Um, so, yep, put them into two by twos and just tons and tons of work. My, my sweetie, I, I, there's times that I wish that we, that we, uh, how do I say this the right way? Um, there's my, my sweetie puts so much time in on the channel, um, writing the scripts, all the stuff, um, to make it as easy as possible on me because I still have the other full-time job and, and, and she does an awesome job and she's created the Facebook page, the, the website, all the content that you see. Um, and and she's working literally when she wakes up in the morning, the first thing she does is put her glasses on and grab her phone and check messages from the channel. And the last thing she does at night before she goes to sleep is the same thing in reverse. And all day long in between. Yeah, the last thing is she's replying to them. And while I'm at work, she's working on the channel. And before I go to work, she's working on the channel. And after I come home, she's working on the channel. So, you know, um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of work. There's no question. So that's why I say thank you to Real Ruler because he really, uh, without realizing it, is taking a huge load off of her uh, and also from me during the streams. And, and um, uh, that's given us a little bit more uh, us time, which, which um, you, you start losing the us time when you start getting um, too big or bigger, you know. So, but that doesn't mean that we don't want to get to 100,000. We, we do. It would be nice to get to the point to where I could stop and retire from a regular job outside of the channel and be full-time with her. Um, then we could do even more with the channel. Um, but... Um, Unboxing video is live from Barbara and Santiago. So we're going to say good night. You guys can go check that out if you're up to it. Um, and like I say, God bless. Sweet dreams to everybody. Thank you very much. Yeah, she's definitely a workaholic and she's a perfectionist. She wants it done right. She wants you guys to get the best possible experience, as do I. But she's the one that's killing herself to make it happen. So. Um, good night, everybody, and don't forget to send us your mailing information so we can get that done, too. And until next time, until the next, in this case, the next um, surprise pop-up. Oh, the unboxing, if you go to our channel, is the newest video. Um, so... Um, it's just been up for a couple of minutes, so it should show you that. So anyway, good night, everybody. Get some sleep or watch that video and then get some sleep because <laughs> what's in that video is pretty awesome. 
Uh, thank you, Donna Mac. Thank you, John L. And thank you, everybody. Um, Barbara, Pammy J, Santiago, Gunny, Real Ruler, everybody. Um, sweet dreams all. Uh, hope the kitties are having sweet dreams from last night from what Donna and John did. And uh, till the next time, J and B.